Hello everyone and welcome back. It's really windy outside today and I know it's been like a hot minute. I'm trying to like get used to this because obviously I still am not used to using the camera. Like I don't know why things look different colours. Like my door isn't green but it looks green here so like and I also feel like I look like Casper the ghost. So <laughs> we're off to a wonderful start. Um, so I thought it's been a hot minute since it's been a hot minute. I thought we just have like a chilled little catch up in QA. I thought I'd like shower and just put some fresh pajamas on, hence the stitch. Um because yeah, like it's just I just thought it'd be nice to be have like a nice like little kind of like chilled time with the catch up. <laughs> so it's sorry that I kind of I'm going like I thought it'd be good to have natural light, but I think it makes me look really washed out. Like I don't really know what's happening. Um, I'm gonna have to try it with the ring light soon so that I can like figure it out but man there's a lot that's been happening like so much has been going on Um, so I don't really know how to do this to be honest I'm thinking like maybe in case you're wondering what that is that is the guinea pig's cage there and that is the, <laughs> there's just a big pile of hay um, so yeah ignore that that's what that is i don't know how i'm doing this like i don't know if i should answer some questions first and then kind of go with that and then kind of see how it goes from there um, and then add things to that so i had a lot of questions so i did some on that um in like not gonna lie or whatever it stands for ngl um just because for me like i know with my anxiety that like um, sometimes I'll think of something to ask someone I'm like I don't know if that's weird so I don't really want to ask it in case they think I'm weird so I'm thinking like oh like I'll put an anonymous box up in case people are shy or like they, they think the same way as me kind of being the naive person that I am forgetting that people will say things because they have anonymity, anonymity? that is a bit questionable <laughs> so there's a lot of things that aren't questions and more statements so <laughs> yeah, interesting. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I'm just gonna. I'm sorry, the guinea pigs don't like it when I cough or anything, so like they're getting a bit mad at me. Um. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Okay, so someone said, "Is everything okay?" Question mark with a little thingy. I don't know if it's gonna focus on it. Maybe it will. At some point. Maybe it's because it's. But yeah, they said, I don't know if it, it might show up better because sometimes I thought something was bloody on it and it was like not and I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, they said, is it everything okay? I'm worried about you, but ABT. Um, keeping it real, things have been rough for the last month and a bit. So yeah, like, um, anxiety with your gal has been like the worst it's been in a long time. Like a long time. Um... Like, I had the worst panic attack of my entire life, like, a few weeks ago, quite, quite a few weeks ago now. Um, and it was worse because I was wearing a necklace and I felt like the necklace was, like, choking me and I was like, oh my god, like, I'm gonna die, like, this is it, like, this is it, like, it's over, like, and I know that sounds, maybe sounds a little bit dramatic, but I genuinely felt, like, really awful, like, it was the worst panic attack I've ever had in my entire life. And I've experienced a few, quite a few panic attacks, but that was not the best. Um, and you know like a lot of things have kind of like happened within the last month that has maybe not helped with that um, been, it's been rough like nobody needs to worry about me um, I know that there are people that know um, some things and I don't know like I would like to have privacy and I'm about to say it and I feel like my chest is like starting to like race and I'm like I want to be sick because <laughs> um, that's another thing like I've been really struggling with feeling sick all the time and feeling like I'm gonna faint and um, I actually just had a blood test on Thursday there and hopefully they can like figure that out and but they probably be like you're fine we don't know what's wrong with you and then I'm back to screw one again but um yeah so uh, so I, I like privacy and I just don't know why but it makes me feel sick but I'm gonna I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna do it because I'm trying to use this month or this time to really push myself for myself 
so just be prepared though if I cry at any point in the video it's because it's your gals just going through a bunch of stuff right now okay um so yeah um one of the main reasons why maybe people are worried about me is that Greg and I broke up um we have been broken up for three weeks as of today but today's Saturday and this video should go out today and if it goes out tomorrow tomorrow will be a month since we broke up um so yeah <laughs> um I'm kind of sorry trying to get comfy um you know me I have to sit a bunch like a different million different ways to like get comfy um but yeah so we broke up um and part of that is because my anxiety was really bad and I can honestly hold my hands up and say like the way that I broke up with him was not the best way um and I think you know sometimes people will just think will rush to conclusions of like oh you're this type of person like how could you do that and it's sometimes like yeah like I know this is not good but sometimes you have to be a bit more like okay well what led up to this person feeling like this for them to feel like that was the only way that they could do it do you know what I mean like I think sometimes as people it is harder to be like it's e no it's easier to be like how could you do that like what type of person are you rather than being compassionate and thinking okay that wasn't good but why did you feel like that was okay do you know and I'm not here justifying myself because that's not the case um because I feel like I've had a lot of time to kind of sit with it and be like, okay, well, the, why I done it and why, like, I felt like that was the only way that I could do it. Um, but I can hold myself accountable for the fact that that was not okay. And, you know, there was more, there was, there should have been a lot more, there's a word that I'm trying to find and I can't find it, like respect maybe in the situation to have done it properly. Um, so yeah, like, I think as well it's been a bit harder trying to process, like, okay, I shouldn't have done it that way, um, that wasn't right, but it was right for me at the time, and then there's a lot of, like, kind of peace you have to kind of make with that, like, ah! <laughs> so, yeah, like, I think that's, like, the interesting thing about healing as well, is that you have to kind of sit with yourself and say, okay, like, I've done this wrong, this wasn't okay, but how can I forgive myself and kind of learn from that, if you know what I mean? Um, but I think one of the hardest things, like, about, like, well, there's quite, there's a lot of bad things or, like, hard things because I'm really, really going through it right now. Like, you know, there's things with, like, I thought I was going to marry this person. I thought I was going to, like, have kids with this person, like, get, get a house with this person, buy dog, like, not buy dogs, but, like, have dogs or something with this person. And that's all just gone. So, and I think, you know, it's hard when as well when um you kind of are going through that process and it's like people are always quick to jump onto the like this narrative of like okay well this person broke up with that person so they must be the bad person or they're the villain or you know like that person didn't care about their relationship because they broke up with them and it's like no like that is not the case at all like it sucks so much that but it's just one of those things that it's like you have like when you kind of your head kind of knows that it's like the right thing to do but then your heart has to catch up it's like one of those things and I think that's why my anxiety hit me so much like before I broke up with him because it was like oh shit like this is the realization like this is happening like this is what we have to do sort of thing um and it, there's a lot of reasons that I'm not going to go into of why I broke up with him. I just don't think, you know, that's for the internet. Um, that's between me and Greg. Um, but there are a lot of reasons that can make you feel like you have to walk away even when you don't want to. Um, so yeah. Because it's just... Uh, this is like the first thing I've publicly said about it properly like in depth I kind of maybe made the comment on like on Twitter because I was like trying to put my thoughts out there I was like I've never publicly like I know I don't have to publicly announce it I'm not a celebrity I'm not an influencer I'm just like a regular person who likes to make YouTube videos and likes to act I'm not like someone who feels they have to like make a statement if that makes sense but I think 
because there was a statement made about the relationship being over on Greg's side of things after we split up. I was kind of in this conflicted space of do I need to say something publicly? Do I need to do something even though I didn't want it to be public but because there was a statement out there and people on his side knew that we were not together anymore but not a lot of people on my Facebook knew that we were broken up and I'm like ah, there's so much conflicting information going to my brain. Um, so yeah, it's been difficult and I, I, I'm not like here to be like like talking badly about him or you know anything like that because we were together for such a long time and I think when people, I don't like when you see things like that when there's like breakups and people are on bad terms. I mean, not gonna lie, we are not talking right now and not um, on, pardon me, any terms <laughs> as of now. Um, but that's because I had to put boundaries in place and just say, look, I need space to kind of process this and we'll regroup at some point and hopefully have a conversation about things. Um, because I think when you break up with someone, it's hard to kind of navigate your brain realizing you're broken up because you're constantly talking to that person, seeing them everywhere. So I kind of had to take that step and be like, can we please just have space to process it, to feel our feelings and to try and make our own progress personally, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so I think that's why someone says they're worried about me because I'm just very like up and down right now. And it's like, my brain goes from very like okay to like very not okay, like very fast. Um, but I think it's just part of the process of this healing journey that I am now <laughs> about to go on. That is very new to me. Because when you're with someone for eight years, like from when you're 16 to 25, like that is a long time to kind of not know who you are out with that relationship, if that makes sense. So I'm kind of just trying to figure that out on like, who am I like out with that? Um, but yeah, I think it sucks because as well, like when you know you're part of someone's family for a long time and then their family either unfriends, like a family member unfriends you or the family members don't talk to you and you're kind of like, oh, like this is, this is hard because you kind of become a part of the whole thing. Um, it's all very hard to readjust to, but I am getting there. I have good days and bad days, and honestly, if it wasn't for the guinea pigs and for the fact that Misery Kids um, have a support, they're supporting an artist called Brawny in Manchester on the 13th of April, and then Arrows in Action are in London and Brighton um, in May. Like, if it wasn't for that, I think I'd be a lot more not okay than I am right now because it's gave me a lot of things to focus on and kind of just put all my energy into because as head of the street team, there's things you've got to do to make things exciting and fun and I'm trying to just like focus on that. Although I've been very distracted this week, I've not done anything street team related so it's not really that good. Um, but I'm okay so please don't worry, with me, worry about me. I know that was like very long winded but... Um, Yes, <laughs> I'll get to the next question, I'm sorry. How oh, you can't even like go through the other ones. Um, let's see. Someone said, what does the future look like for you? What would you like to achieve in the next five years? Hmm. I would hope <laughs> that acting is picked up um, or just like some form of creativeness for me because that would be ideal. Um, I'd hopefully be moved out of my parents' house and, you know, just be happy, healthy and successful. And if that means, you know, finding someone else along the way, then that's cool too. But that is not in my, like, short-term vision for now. <laughs> it's, I'm being off the market since I was 16, so I think I'm just gonna enjoy being alone for a while. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I would like to hope that I was moved out of my ho parents' house, have maybe some kids, happy, successful. Um, but yeah, that is what I think. So something people have said statements, like someone said let's go out soon and I don't know who this is, but let me know who you are, I don't know who you are. Someone says I am here for you with like a love heart hand, that is really sweet, thank you. Let me know who you are. <laughs> Um, someone wants to know my crush. I don't have a crush, 
like of a regular person crush um i think that is too soon for me to have a crush um so yeah i do not have a crush um i don't even know if i have a celebrity crush to be honest either someone said i wanted to let you know that you're beautiful and amazing hope you have a wonderful day that is so nice thank you guys um someone said my bf likes you won't stop talking about you um i hope when you say bf you mean best friend but i am not sure that's the case um that i don't know how to respond to that um i'm sorry uh, I, I don't know if i talked to this person or not um i don't know who is your last instagram search let me go check because i don't know <laughs> chris jenner chris jenner is at the top and then kendall jenner <laughs> chloe kardashian kiggly jenner courtney kardashian and kim kardashian so yeah, those were my last searches, although I think they were in the search and I clicked on them because it said that they'd posted and I was like, oh, I've missed this. Um, so let's just do all these ones first. Um, someone said, who do you miss the most? Um, I miss a lot of people. Um, obviously I miss Greg and um, that's an adjustment to make. Um, but like not in the sense of like, I'm trying to be like, like there is not not in like a a romantic way like a I miss this person because they were a huge part of my life kind of way like I'm not I don't want to give anyone false hope um I'd say probably like if it's people who aren't here anymore like on earth I'd probably say my gran and my papa like I miss them a lot and my aunt I miss them too um oh my gosh someone said are you in contract negotiations now you're a free agent um probably not for the next few years <laughs> i suppose you can't ever really tell how long that will be but i would imagine in the next few years or like six maybe not even six months i feel like even six months is too soon but probably within the next couple of years maybe maybe not even in the next few years i don't know you can't really put a timestamp on that Someone says, you're super genuine. I love that. That's so nice. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Someone said, let's get together soon, please. Did someone say that before too? Yeah, I don't know. Well, thank you. I don't know who you are. Um, what Favourite accent? Um, really big sucker for accents. So I don't really know if I have a favourite one because there are a lot of really nice accents and accents that are like really like really nice um i don't know sometimes it fluctuates i feel like at the moment maybe maybe i don't know australian or irish i don't know <laughs> i just love an accent though to be fair do you like anyone right now I have to learn to like myself before I can like anyone else. <laughs> As RuPaul says, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? Can I get an amen? But no, I feel like I do not like anyone right now. Someone says that they really like me and that is very nice. I don't know what to do with that information. <laughs> Thank you, that is very nice. And someone says, just a reminder that you're awesome in every way. That is so nice. So those were all the anonymous questions. Let's go to Instagram and find... I think I did take a screenshot of the questions because I was like, I'm going to not be able to find it and it's going to take far too long. Um, oh, my little like n number one supporter of the channel, Aiden, has asked, favourite song this year so far? So I kind of... I don't know if the other two were released this year so but let's not include them so so it's kind of like joint by a few songs um burning up by misery kids that was my top played song for the month of march <laughs> because it came out last month and it's my top played song it's a bit of a problem cold by arrows in action is up there too I can't stop singing in my head like there's just a bit of the song I'm not gonna sing it I'll just speak it where it's like oh no spiritual chemical low and then there's a part that's like um 
I don't need you bowing down to me. I didn't mean to be someone's masterpiece, your pretty prodigy. Like, I just love that bit so much. And that sounded so bad because I just spoke it. But, um, yeah. And I actually, do you know what's going to surprise you guys, right? I'm not really into, like, most mainstream kind of, like, artists. Like, I think Ariana Grande is, like, really talented and I do like some of her songs but I've never listened to a whole album front to back but a girl at my work was like you need to listen to Eternal Sunshine so I listened to Eternal Sunshine and that is a really good album I don't know if I relate to it more because it feels like a breakup album but it's very very good and the song We Can't Be Friends is stuck in my head like it's so good um someone asked how's your creativity been lately my creativity has been in the ground, in the bin, gone to space. It has been non-existent. It has actually ruined my life. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, no creativity at all, but I have been creative in a sense because I helped my cousin with... Um, I had been so busy as well, by the way, guys, like so busy. Like I've been working more at work um so in, in asda which is not like the the fun work that we want but you know it's there oh god i'm so uncomfortable um yeah so i've been work doing a lot more hours there like i've been so busy like for since the fucking start of the month like, excuse my french but like i've been so busy that's why it's like been like no context i'm just exhausted burnt out and just over life <laughs> pardon me um so I just have been super, super busy. Like I've been working and then um, I helped my cousin with a photo shoot because she does photography. Um, I haven't seen the pictures yet, but I'm hoping to see them soon. And I'll like post them on my Instagram because honestly it was such a fun shoot. Like the concept that she had was so freaking good. Like, and it was so fun to be creative in that sense of like modeling. Like I'm not a model, like have you seen me? But, um, it was just so much fun and I like really enjoyed being creative in that way of like helping someone bring their vision to life because I wore like this, it was basically the kind of gives off the impression that I was like nude but not nude and had like these different layers and how women can wear like all these different layers but still be sexualized and it was just such an awesome concept so I'm really excited to, I'm really really excited to um to see them. And it actually helped her get her place at her choice of university, which was so exciting um, because they really, really liked the concept. So I really can't wait to see those. So in a sense, I have been creative and then I had some other headshots taken as well. So I have been like kind of creative in that way, not being very creative when it comes to acting or finishing my script that I started and not finished. But I have written a couple of monologues and maybe want to start writing a couple more and I really want to push myself to work on my creativity to just get them freaking recorded and just put them on YouTube. Well, that was aggressive slap. <laughs> get them recorded and put them on my acting YouTube and just like post them about, kind of just push myself to get out there, like even just make content on TikTok where it's like, you know, those like acting type TikToks. Like, I think that would be really good. Like, I really do need to push myself in that sense and just to be creative, like, or even just to paint. Like, I think it would be really fun. I just love painting. Even if I'm not artistic in the sense of like being good at drawing or like, I know that art is um subjective to things. But you know when you look at people and you're like, they are so talented, like that is an amazing piece of art. And then you look at mine and you're like, did a five-year-old do this? Five-year-old? Oh, that's insulting to five-year-olds. I don't know then. Um, someone asked, any new projects coming up for focusing on your first, or, or focusing on you first before getting back out there? I currently have nothing going on in the term of projects. I am a free agent for acting. Please hire me. I have a showreel, I have some headshots, I have got myself and my weird sense of humour. Please hire me. Please hire me. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I, I have nothing. I keep getting like availability checks from my agent from All Talent, um, but I have not been booked on anything yet. Um, I've been applying for student films and then just trying to be like I really need to finish my script so that I can be in this in some capacity um 
But I think right now maybe it is a good idea for me to focus on myself as well. Um, because there's a lot to go through right now. Like, it's a bit of a trying time. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. Like, I'm always kind of good at, like, putting on, like, a brave face when I feel like I'm not doing okay. So this might look concerning. Please do not be concerned. I am a Capricorn, so, you know, I'm kind of, like... And there's the freaking I've been interested in something lately where I'm really trying to focus on like astrology because I've always been fascinated by it but I don't know enough about it. But like we have the spring equinox, we have the I think I said that right. Um, then we've had the freaking the eclipse is happening on the seventh or the eighth, um, and that is like about rebirth and like letting go and like new beginnings and stuff sorry that somehow helped me remember what i was trying to say um and it's stuff like don't text your ex like don't do this and i was like okay well we have to wait out we can't like message to say do you want your like whatever but um so yeah and then we have like freaking mercury is in retrograde and freaking 80s season and all of that just still doesn't fully make sense to me but like mercury in retrograde is like making everyone so angry like it's just testing everyone like it's making me so annoyed and so angry and just so like uh. <laughs> so i'm like do aries feel like this all the time because if you do i really feel for you guys like what is this what is this and i am looking like i have been caspered like what the frick i don't understand i'd mess around with some settings before i actually done this because i don't know why i look so white um i don't know what look better now okay it looks a little bit better i'll maybe just i don't want to hold it though because it just is then unstable like me so but um yeah like it's also fascinating and i'm like this makes sense of why i'm like like this with my like freaking moods um I, they've also they're also changing my shifts at work so i'm now going to be doing a mon a sunday monday off tuesday wednesday and thursday friday and then off saturday so not too bad, got two days off in a row. And me and my friend are thinking about, are trying to plan going on holiday in September. I'm really freaking excited for that. But there's, so yeah, there's, I'm gonna be vlogging um, my trip to Manchester because I'm fucking traveling alone. And I'm like, I don't wanna, I'm not gonna like spoil the vlog, but like, it just, it's gonna be good. I'm just really excited to vlog again. Like I've missed it so much. But please, if you've made it this far, content you let want me know. to see. Because I was thinking, like, do I get back into doing makeup challenges or like makeup videos? Um, do you guys want to like? What do you guys want to see? Like, I want to be a consistent queen, like for the channel. Like, just let me know what we want to see. Do we want to see hauls? Do we want to see um, more vlogs? Do we want to see more days in the life? Do we like? What do you guys want to see? Because I really want to be consistent with the channel. Like I have a camera now. Um, even if I don't know why it's like this, maybe it's just because it's really bright outside. Um, even though it looks really grey outside, like really grey. So every time I say grey now, it makes me think of that water park song where it's like, she wore a sweater, it was funeral grey. Yeah. So there's that. But those were all the questions. Yeah, so that was all the questions, but your gal's been going through it. It's been super busy. And I'm just trying to figure things out. So yes. I I'm excited to go away <laughs> to Manchester. Um it's only for the night, but I'm just excited to get away from Scotland. Like I love Scotland, but everything just feels so he <laughs> feels so I just spat, sorry. Um everything just feels so heavy here right now and I'm just like I need an adventure I need to go out and enjoy like my bank account's been having a fun time like I didn't realize I had to pay for the arrows stuff this month and the misery kid stuff and because it's still Easter the hotels for Manchester were like so expensive so my bank's very sad <laughs> But it's okay, it's okay. It's, I feel like sometimes you become a bit more like, it's fine, like after, I mean, I don't know, this is my first breakup, proper breakup, where it's like being extremely sad. So I'm like, oh my God, let's just spend all our money and go places and just YOLO it. And it's like, okay, Megan, calm down. <laughs> but yes, I don't really know what else to add. This was a very chaotic vlog, but things have been very chaotic right now. So I think that's very fitting. But I'm going to go and edit this video and just chill and play Sims and hope that my Sims actually work because the freaking mouse for my Sims game disappeared and I couldn't do anything. So, because I bought some new content for it. So I'm like, 
I want to play it, but I have been playing something like some games that I've been playing lately that have been good is Planet Zoo. That is a good game. Although some of the controls are a bit weird, like with the camera, like it was the same on PC, but it is very fun. I've been trying to play the tutorial because I still don't really remember how to play it. Um, and a little bit to the left, like I didn't think I was a puzzle game kind of gal, but that is such a relaxing, fun game. Like some of them are a little bit difficult, but I've been really enjoying it. I'm really trying to go all out with just doing things I wouldn't usually do apparently and that is one of them playing games like that <laughs> but yeah oh it's been a lot so I'm really sorry that I haven't posted on the channel since whenever Molly's birthday vlog came out because I was delayed with that too because I've just been so busy um but yes at least that there will be two videos this month and there'll be a video next month too but hopefully more than one but I need to figure out what content we all want and plan a bit better this time. I'm gonna stop rambling now and I will thank you guys for being patient with me and always watching my videos like it means a lot um but yeah please help me be more consistent and let me know what you want to see um but I really hope you guys made it this far and if you didn't I'm sorry but like if you did thank you <laughs> I really do appreciate it but I'll see you guys soon